Hola, profe Laura aquí y bienvenidos a Fortnite en Español. Today we are going to finish seeing some weapons. And as I've mentioned before, some of these weapons may or may not be relevant to the current season of Fortnite. Um, this particular version of the document that I'm using in these slides is from Chapter 3, Season 3. So I know some things may or may not be available depending upon when you watch this video. But, you know, Fortnite does get things out of the vault, so it's good to know these weapons for whenever they are around. So today, uh, I'm just going to go over the pronunciation of these particular weapons, and um, just pay attention because you will see kind of a pattern sometimes of some of the words used, and that might help you, you know, make a few shortcuts so that you uh, can remember these words a little more easily. So, we're going to start with Subfusil Aguijon. This is our Stinger SMG. Subfusil Aguijon. And there are lots of times of types of SMGs. You can just say Subfusil. Uh, in general, that's fine if you're struggling to remember the two words together. Subfusil de combate. Subfusil de combate. Just like a combat SMG. Revolver de seis balas preciso. And remember our last, um, well, not last class, but I think two, well, two videos ago, I mentioned you could just say revolver. That's perfectly fine. But this particular weapon is called revolver de seis balas preciso. Rastreador de sombras. Rastreador de sombras. Okay, so those are first ones. And finishing up, we have Fusil de Asalto de Comando. So Command Assault Rifle. Fusil de Asalto de Comando. This is an awesome one right here. Fusil de Tirador Explosivo. Fusil de Tirador Explosivo. Fusil de tirador de cazador. Fusil de tirador de cazador. Fusil areite. Fusil areite. And I love this one too. Fusil de tirador pesado. Fusil de tirador pesado. And you may have noticed, we see a lot of fusil de tirador. This just means sniper rifle. Okay, so sniper, fusil de tirador. All right. Muy bien, that is all for today. A super short practice just to work on the pronunciation of these words. As I've said before, please try to use these words in sentences. We've seen, you know, necesito, quiero, uh, tengo. So you can make short sentences and questions with these words. As always, please feel free to let me know in the class or via message if you have any doubts or questions. Muchas gracias por venir y nos vemos en la clase. Hasta luego.